Good, good morning, guys. Sabal Khair, how are you? Okay, so this is a language learning special edition on my channel. I'm sitting here with my morning coffee. I'm waiting for my online class in Arabic. Because, as you maybe know, I am studying Arabic in Cairo, in Egypt. And I'm trying to learn this amazing language and difficult language. I want to show you some tips and tricks that you maybe want to know when you are learning a new language. I think if you are learning a new language or you are thinking about learning a new language, this vlog is going to be very perfect for you. So stay tuned. So the first tip I have for you is to speak with native speakers. And maybe you don't live in a country where they speak the language you want to learn, then online classes is perfect for you. And me, I, I am living in Egypt, but I love to have online classes because it's so flexible and you don't have to travel around in Cairo. Okay, so the first thing I have to do is to enter to italki, it's the webpage where I find my teachers. I will go there and see if the teacher has sent me some messages, but yeah, so just a moment. No, he has not sent me anything, so I think we are good to go. My teacher today is called Mohammed. He's not a professional teacher, but the price is lower than on the pro professional teachers. So he's just a normal person who is speaking Arabic uh, perfect and he wants to teach his language to people like me. So that's perfect. And for me, the most important thing is just to practice. It's not to have like a textbook and a very structured study way. I just want to speak and speak and speak. So that's why I don't want to pay more for a professional teacher. Okay, so now I'm very excited, a little bit nervous, but I'm waiting for my teacher to call me. Hello, is there? Ah, لا آه في مصر اوكي ممتاز في زمالك النهارده؟ اه لسه في زمالك تمام انت كان عندك حيوان قبل كده؟ مش فاهم قبل كده ده يعني ايه؟ قبل كده قبل كده بفور اه اوكي قبل I have heard this word many times, but uh, my uh, brain is working very slowly today. I think uh, I <laughs> I don't know why. Sometimes that happens. I, I wrote down some words uh, that I don't understand. So, Masalan, uh, Taban. I hear that all the time. Taban means of course. Of course, Taban. Tariban? Tariban, like uh, almost. Almost. Olake. Olake. Yeah, Olake. What do you say? Is it something like that? Yeah, what what, what I say? So what should I say? Abadin al Kelma al Al Akhira. Al Akhira. Al Akhira. Rabena Maeki. Okay, Rabbina Ma'ak, that's for a man, for a woman, Rabbina Ma'ak, may God be with you. Okay. I really enjoyed this class with Mohammed, it was a nice class, but also it's very hard to try to speak Arabic all the time, and you don't understand, so yeah, you get confused. But anyways, I think it's a good way to learn a language. I think when you want to learn a new language, it's super important to have a native speaker and practice with him. But if you are not in the country and you, you can't speak the language all the time with people there, it's nice to just find a teacher on italki or another place online 
and you can speak with this person. Okay, so at the moment I'm watching an Arabic TV series in Egyptian dialect. It's called La Toutfe Al Shams or something. Actually, I don't understand nothing almost of what they are saying, but I try to pick up some words here and there and I write it down. I don't write it in Arabic signs. If you want to do that, it's okay, but I prefer to just write it in a way so I understand how I can pronounce it again. And I ask my teacher on the online class what does this mean? What does this mean? And I write down um, the translation. I am not watching this TV program with subtitles. I am only listening to the, to the voice and the audio. But if you find a TV program with subtitles in the language you are trying to learn, I think that is a good thing because then it's easier to search up the words. I, I recommend you to not put on English subtitles or yeah, subtitles in your native language because, because then it's so easy to just read. Put on subtitles in the language you want to learn, search up the words if you don't understand them and there you go. Maybe it feels so awkward to sit and watch TV programs that you don't understand, but bit by bit you will understand more and more. I guess that you guys who are into learning a new language know that flashcards is something very traditional and typical to use when you're trying to remember vocabulary. When you're learning new words, you just write down the words on this paper in the, the, the language you know and the language you want to learn, like um, Bileil, Night, Saidaleya, Pharmacy, Pharmacy. Aymara, building I think, yes building, but sometimes it's very annoying with all these papers. So why use these annoying flashcards when you can use the technology? I prefer to use apps. So that means I turned 30 last month. Okay, so here the word comes up uh, in English or in Arabic and you can listen to it. It wallet. It wallet. And then you can press the show answer button to be born. Oh, I didn't remember that so I have to practice again. And you can push again or good, depending on if you remember the word or not. Agis. 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 Is that something like uh, old? To age, grow old. So, almost to give birth to. To give birth to, that is, I, I don't know. Will it? Will it? Childhood. To fula. To fula. It's so hard. Arabic is so hard. In what youth? I think that is fi shababu, fi shababu, fi shababu, fi shababu, fi shababu. When were you born? When were you born? Etwa etwa olet emta. Etwa olet emta. Etwa olet emta. Etwa olet emta. Sometimes it can feel boring to memorize words all over the time and you have to repeat words and it's very hard But I think you have to just focus on how fun it also can be because just listen to this audio Okay, so some of you guys have asked me if I can speak a little bit in Norwegian on my channel. So since this is a language vlog, I will of course speak Norwegian. Okay guys, I hope you are ready for this. Now I'm going to teach you the most important words in the Norwegian language. 
solbriller solbriller lue lue sko sko bok bok lysbryter lysbryter radio radio kaffekopp kaffekopp stol stol glass glass mobiltelefon mobiltelefon datamaskin datamaskin